former Prime Minister and the founding chairman of Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, Imran Khan, has written a letter to the Chief Justice of Pakistan highlighting the grave state of affairs in the country, reminding him of his responsibility to stay true to his oath and declared belief in the principles and values espoused by Pakistan's founding fathers and his proclamation of supremacy of the constitution. Imran Khan, leader of the country's largest and most popular political party, has been unfairly incarcerated by the fascist regime in the country for almost 260 days while his party is being systematically dismantled, his supporters prosecuted. After a court in Islamabad ordered jail authorities to arrange a medical examination of the former first lady, Mrs. Bushra Khan, under the supervision of Dr. Asim Yusuf, was finally taken to Shifa International Hospital for a complete check. Mrs. Bushra Khan's lawyer, Intazar Panjutha, in a press talk revealed that the results of her endoscopy reveal fears about her health to be true. Her stomach and alimentary canal have been found to be injured because the food she was being given was contaminated. Her lips are also affected. She cannot even speak properly. There are also fears that her heart has also been affected by the possible additives to her food. Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf strongly condemns this atrocious attack on a former first lady, one who has never been involved in the politics just for political vengeance on former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Mrs. Bushra Khan has been under state custody in a makeshift jail cell in her former residence at Bani Gala in Islamabad for over 80 days. ARY reported earlier this morning that their sources claim that the Punjab Home Ministry has written to Federal Interior Ministry seeking internet suspension on the day of by-election. Cities where by-elections are to be held and the internet as well as mobile services are to remain suspended include Lahore, Diji Khan, Gujarat, Shekhupura, Sadiqabad, Chakwal, Talagang, Alipur, Zafarwala, Bhakkar, Kasur, and Alipur Kor Chatta. Massive turnouts in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa for PTI candidates by election rallies has been witnessed despite state oppression, especially in Pakistan's largest province. The passion, energy, and sentiment of the people for a by-election solidify that the people of Pakistan have embraced Imran Khan's ideology of true sovereignty, rule of law, and genuine democracy. Pakistan military intelligence officials who have been torturing family members of high court judges along with PTI members have now assaulted election staff in Bajor in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. In his letter, the district returning officer has detailed how ISI officials assaulted his staff after he refused to succumb to their pressure tactics to change polling staff. Some officials from the DC office were seen protesting on the streets of Bajor. PTI's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government has vowed to conduct a transparent inquiry. The IMF has clubbed Pakistan among six nations facing serious conflicts this year and said that conflicts and tight macroeconomic policy conditions would have a toll on their economic outputs. The other nations are Iraq, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. Pakistan's economy was growing at 6% under Imran Khan but has been decimated since Chief of Army Staff Bajwa led the regime change. What he started continues with the formation of the current controversial government formed after massive electoral fraud and mandate theft. Hundreds of human rights activists with the Freedom Flotilla Coalition, including Code Pinks and Wright and Medea Benjamin, are due to set sail this weekend on multiple vessels carrying 5,500 tons of aid for Gaza. Consortium News reported earlier this month that the mission of the coalition, aside from delivering the much-needed humanitarian aid, is to challenge Israel's illegal blockade of Gaza amid dire conditions, including widespread hunger and lack of medical attention intentionally caused by Israeli policies.